Hi friends, welcome to Moody Blooms. Today we're gonna to discuss pink plants. Now pink plants are great for indoors as house plants. There's also some really beautiful outdoor plants if you live in a warmer climate. So we're gonna start with the caladium plant which is also called the elephant ear or angel wings. And one of my favorites is the pink symphony or caladium Thai beauty. And this one is stunning. It has this bright shade of pink with pink veins and a dark shade of green that adds up to its overall beauty. The Carolyn Horton caladium is also beautiful with its green border. It has these dark pink veins and splotched of light pink and white in the center. Now Florida Sweetheart is mostly pink with deeper pink veins and green edges and she is just stunning. Next we have the Syngonium Podophyllum Neon Robusta. It's also commonly called the Pink Arrowhead Vine. Features light green foliage tinged with iridescent pink. These subtropical evergreen climbers are super versatile. It's happy as a bushy houseplant or as an outdoor vine. Younger leaves are ovate with heart-shaped bases and sometimes with silver variegation. The Neon Robusta is characterized by its upright and symmetrical plant shape freely branching growth habit and densely and bushy plant form. Syngonium pink illusion or Syngonium maria illusion also have stunning pink leaves. The Stromanthri triostar plant is a common house plant in temperate climates for its striking variegated pink and red leaves, one of the most colorful variegated plants that you can grow. Aglonemas or Chinese evergreens are popular easy care foliage house plants. There's a variety that have pink patterns on their glossy leaves that are especially beautiful. Two-tone Moonstone lends a lighter touch with its creamy leaves variegated with pink and green. Pink Dalmatian, this is an easy indoor house plant. Red Valentine is perfect with pink and red variegation. The Red Aglonema has an exotic tropical look as it is as colorful as any bouquet of flowers, but lasting much longer. Fetonia albivensis, also called the mosaic plant or the pink nerve plant, is a trailing stunner that has these deep veined leaves. Those veins can be white or deep pink, which makes each leaf look like a mosaic or stained glass window. This tiny plant thrives in containers because it stays small. It's also great for terrariums or small pots. Hypoestes Phyllostachia, also called the polka dot plant, is a common house plant with colorful foliage. These are highly hybridized to produce a variety of colors and types of leaf spotting. Leaves are brightly dotted in pink, purple, red, or white. The most common polka dot plant on the market features leaves with a pink base color and green spots. Grown outdoors as annuals in colder climates, but perfect in containers as house plants year round. Polka dot plants grow best in medium or bright light, but tolerate low light if you don't mind it getting a bit leggy. You can just quickly trim it back to keep it more tidy. The best color will be produced in lower light situations. It also thrives outdoors in a spot shielded from the hot direct sun. Like Fetonia, polka dot plants thrive in a terrarium. Hemographis alternata snow white also commonly called the waffle plant, is a stunning house plant. It has these light green leaves that are variegated with pink and white edges. And then the undersides have this magenta purple. She hates drying out, so do not let her wilt. This also trails beautifully from hanging baskets with its cascading foliage. If you love variegated plants, especially those that blush in tones of pink, this multicolored form of Moses in the Cradle is for you. It is the Tradescantia spathacea. It's also commonly known as the Boat Lily, Cradle Lily, Sabrina, or Oyster Plant. It has beautiful pink and green and cream variegated strap-like foliage with a burgundy red underside. The Tradescantia fluminensis, or Pink Wandering Jew Plant is a popular house plant. The leaf surface is striped with cream, dark pink, white, and has purple undersides. It also produces pink flowers. Wandering Jew plant care requires bright indirect light. If the light is too dim, the leaf markings will fade. Keep the soil slightly moist, but don't water it directly into the crown as this will cause an unsightly rot in your Wandering Jew. Tradescantia pallida 
Purple Heart is a popular trailing house plant and is also a pretty durable ground cover or accent plant. It has these narrow pointed purple leaves alternating along a thick segmented stem. The leaf cover varies with the amount of sun and water and it produces its best color in the brightest light. Shades of pink appear in the brighter sun. Calathea rosy is a bright and bubbly, low-growing compact shade plant that has these large round oval leaves with bright pink flush and each of the leaves are edged in a band of dark green. It is definitely a standout plant for sure. The Calathea dotty has this deep green foliage that almost looks black with a fuchsia pink outline on each leaf. Keep it in bright indirect sun and mist regularly to maintain humidity. Philodendron Arubicens Pink Princess is a popular climbing aeroid with dark leaves that have this light pink variegated blotches on them. The leaves can grow up to nine inches long and five inches wide. The stems are also blotched with this pretty pink color. Variegation will increase if the plant is cut and that it also prevents the Pink Princess from reverting back to just the dark leaves. Philodendron Pink Congo gets its pink foliage from a chemical to stimulate ethylene production. There are coleus varieties with colored edges, veining patterns, spots, and textured edges. Many of the varieties with pink patterns have a green or purple base color. Some of my favorites are the Pink Chaos and Picture Perfect Pink Salmon. Heuchera, commonly known as coral bells, are traditional perennials with hundreds of varieties. They're primarily known for their beautiful, robust foliage, but they also make really great low maintenance option for landscape beds, rock gardens, or even borders. They come in a range of alluring colors with shades of purple, rose, lime, orange, green, gold, and variegations in between. Some of my favorites include the Palace Purple Coral Bells, which is an excellent durable plant. It features burgundy to dark purple foliage. The Heuchera Encore is a vigorous clump forming compact coral bells cultivar. Early spring leaves emerge deep rose purple with darker veins and a light silver frosting. The undersides of these leaves are reddish purple. Cordyline plants, also known as cabbage plants, thrive outdoors, but also make excellent house plants. They have these leathery variegated leaves that have pink or white edges. My favorite is the pink cordyline due to its sword-shaped leaves and intense hues. The Cordyline fruticosa is stunning. It is one of my favorites. Cordyline pink passion is also another dazzling variety. It has these pink, red, and purple leaves edged with dark pink hues. Variegated crotons or Codium variegatum are easy to grow and are super low maintenance. The leaves are a variety of colors from pink to green to gold to orange, deep burgundy and red depending on the variety. And these thrive in medium to bright indirect light but can tolerate low indirect light. The Ginny Peperomia or Rainbow Peperomia Ginny has these wide leaves with an irregular creamy margin. Overall the growth habit is slightly branching that is improved by occasional pinching. Ginny Peperomia is an easy rewarding plant, prefer bright to moderate light, and the soil should be allowed to dry out slightly. Peperomia caparata red is a beautiful variety with dark red leaves that are deeply rippled. This heart-shaped leaf plant prefers moderate light but no direct sun. It is a cute little plant and it stays fairly small and it grows in clumps. The Peperomia Grizio argentea, pink lady, has these bright pink stems and splotchy leaves. These make beautiful houseplants with their variously colored texture and foliage. A little easier to grow than the Peperomia caparata. These love humidity and they will droop when it needs water. Too many yellow leaves on your Peperomia are probably inconsistent watering, either too much or too little. The Dracaena marginata colorama or Dracaena marginata tricolor, also known as the Madagascar dragon tree, is a perfect choice for newbie plant lovers. This is a drought tolerant Dracaena and it has these long, narrow green leaves with pink margins. Dragon trees are tolerant of neglect, so they're a good option if you are a forgetful plant mom or dad. Begonias offer an array of leaf shapes, colors, and patterns from one variety to the next, and plenty of them have pink hues. They need bright indirect sunlight so that their leaves stay as colorful as possible. They prefer medium to bright light. The strawberry and cream ruby pink 
rubber plant or ficus elastica has shiny leaves that are outlined in the strawberry pink. The rubber tree is one of the oldest house plants used worldwide and they are very easy to care for. Rubber plants are able to adapt to and endure lower light conditions and generally poor treatment. Of course you want to provide as much light as possible and keep it away from any cold or drafts in winter. The ficus elastica burgundy rubber plant is one of the most common kept varieties of ficus. It has these rich burgundy color leaves that can get pretty long, about up to 8 to 12 inches. Place in bright light to enhance the dark burgundy color, although this plant does well in low light conditions too. The Hannah Mysteria is an annual or short-lived perennial with beautiful variegated foliage in shades of cream, green, and pink. Give this succulent plenty of sun and you'll be rewarded with magenta flowers, richly variegated leaves, and bright stems. The appearance of this plant under the right conditions is stunning. The African milk tree is technically a succulent and not a tree. Its scientific name is Euphorbia trigona, and it can reach pretty impressive heights indoors and outside. Usually the stems will stay green, but each one can produce dozens of tiny pinkish reddish leaves. There are plenty of pink succulents, but among the easiest to grow are the Echeverias. One of my favorites is the Echeveria Pearl von Nuremberg, and this is predominantly more of a purple plant, but it does have these pink hues along the edges or the centers. These prefer bright light to direct light, and make sure you let the soil dry out completely between waterings. Another stunning pink plant is the Moonstone plant, or the Sugar Almond plant, and these have the cutest little thick leaves that look like little eggs. The pink moonstone plant is also gray bluish leaf that has these pink tipped leaves and the more sun you give it the more pink the tips of the leaves will turn. It's covered in a thick powdery coating of farina that protects it from full sun and it also gives it a soft appearance. The aloe Christmas Carol flourishes in warm and dry climates and many people mistake it for a cactus but it's in fact a member of the lily family. The Calico Kitten is a pretty little succulent with these heart-shaped leaves that are marked with rosy pink, purple, yellow, and creamy white and green shades. In spring, look for dainty little white blooms. The Pink Jelly Bean plant has a growing season in autumn or spring, or if you're in a warm climate like I am in Southern California, you can pretty much grow them outdoors year round, but they love plenty of sunlight and the more sunlight they'll get, the more pink that they'll turn. The six angled Kalanchoe is a scalloped leaved plant tinged in shades of pink and red. The Kalanchoe Fetchinkoe variegata is a sun loving succulent that shows off its gray green leaves edged in creamy pink. It may be an ideal house plant for you if you have a bright spot and tend to forget to water. The red earth star plant is an easy growing house plant forming rosettes of leaves. The leaves are succulent with wavy margins and teeth. They're strongly banded in scarlet and deep red. White flowers can appear nested in the center of this plant. Cryptanthius bivitotus, earth star, is a small terrestrial species of plant in the Bromeliaceae family. Bivitotus, earth star, is a terrestrial species and it is commonly used in terrariums or in novelty planters. Now keep in mind it does need bright light to keep this bright pink color. Here are a few other earth star species. Pink mother of millions or the Kalanchoe pink butterflies producing butterfly-like plantlets in an incredible shade of pink thanks to the lack of chlorophyll in the leaves. This is a hybrid and it is a must-have indoor plant if you love pink. It also does well outside in warmer climates. Okay, last but certainly not least is the Seriopegia woodii variegata, also known as the variegated string of hearts or the variegated rosary vine, and it loves bright light. It takes time and light for this plant to get more pink. It is definitely more expensive than the non-variegated version and a little bit slower at growing. Please let me know if there are any pink plants that you love that I missed. Also leave me a comment below what your favorite pink plant is. Thanks so much for joining us on Moody Blooms. Be sure to follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Moody Blooms Co. 
You can also check out our website at moodybloomsco.com for more care info on these beautiful pink plants. Be sure to subscribe if you want to be notified of our new videos. And we thank you so much for watching and supporting.